So when I bought this BMAX Tiny PC, it came with a 64 gigabyte eMMC on board, and that has about 45 gigs of usable space. Um, but it also has this expansion slot where you can install an M2 um, SSD. And I was able to pick one up from Amazon for just 10 bucks. Now this is only 128 gigabytes, but that's really fine for this. The plan right now is to install this, clone the eMMC to the SSD, and then use this as the main drive. And I'm trying to do this for free, so we're gonna find some free software to do that with. So there's just one screw, and then... All right, so we'll put the SSD in. Oh boy. Okay, so we booted into Windows. The first thing we're gonna do is right click the start menu and go to disk management. And just confirm that it sees the new SSD and it does. You must initialize the disk. It's talking about disk zero. There's the 119.24 gigs, so 128 gig drive. And then there's the, well, I thought it was the 64 gig, but there's the eMMC, which is disk one. I'm gonna press cancel on this. I just wanted to make sure that it was there. All right, I've tried AOMEI Backupper and EaseUS Disk Copy 5, and neither of those actually are free. So we're going to try Macrium Reflect free trial. Um, we're just going to give it a shot. All right, I'm going to download this and then we'll give it a shot. So you have to enter a bunch of information and then they send you an email link to download the software. There it is. Download. Okay, I downloaded. And this is the actual installer. Uh, this is frustrating. So you have to enter your email address and then press get my code and it sends you an email with further instructions. Okay, thank you for your interest. This code is paired with your email address. So maybe you can only use this once. Whatever, let's just install it as is. Oh, we gotta restart, okay. How is it this much of a headache to just clone a disk? All right, we're back. Okay, so we're in Macrium Reflect, and I can see that there's disk one. This is the SSD, because it's 119 some gig. And then disk two is the EMMC, because it's around 60 gig. When I click on it, there is a clone this disk option. And I can select a disk to clone two, and disk one is obviously the disk. Copy partitions, shrink or extend. So it kept most of the partitions the same size, except the one recovery, it kind of messed up there. So I'm going to bring that back down to like, what was it before? It was 9.77. I'll put it at 9.8. Okay. And then float to the right, float to the right, and then fill space. So then I'll have 108 gigs. <sighs> Press next. If you wish to run this clone again in the future, you can schedule it. I don't wish to ever do this ever again. Here's all the crap that I just learned about. Press finish. Run this back up now. We don't want to save it. Okay. Uh, creating volume snapshots. Okay. I'm just going to let it sit here and do its business. It's probably going to take it a while, so we'll come back later and see how it does. All right, I came back to check on it, and it actually only took 11 minutes and 27 seconds. So we're hit okay close and now we have two identical disks so the question is what do we do now i think i'm probably going to try and reboot it and disable the emmc in the bios i don't know let's take a look so it is the delete key to get into the bios Can we keep hitting it hopefully we're going to catch it sweet uh right what we got Probably, uh, hmm. I don't want to disable the eMMC because I'd like to still have access to it, but uh, hopefully that, that makes it work. Let's see. Wow, it worked. <laughs> Definitely on the correct drive. It doesn't really feel much snappier. Maybe I'll do some quick tests just to see. 
Okay, so we're testing the transfer rate of the EMMC. I'm going to let that run all the way through. Okay, so it actually ended up with a read error. Test aborted, but um, by the end of it, the minimum was 69.4, the maximum was 168. The average was 95.2. It started off pretty good, and it seems like after a certain amount of data transfer, you know, it just ended up around 70 meg. Um, let's try out the SSD. And uh, we'll let that run for a minute and we will see where it ends up. It's not looking so good so far. <laughs> All right, so this one did an error out. However, the average is 76. And so I think the SSD actually did worse than the EMMC. I guess that's what you get for 10 bucks. I'm curious if it's the SSD or if it's possibly a limitation of the device itself. Um, maybe I should try buying a more expensive SSD because uh, at this rate, <laughs> that thing sucks. Um, what do you guys think? Should I pay a little more? Make my cheap mini PC more expensive? I don't know. If you've tried this and you've had better results, leave a comment and let me know because I'm really surprised that the performance is that bad. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next one. And it might be with a more expensive SSD, but we'll see.